Jake Gottsagan is a 15-year-old sophomore at St. Andrews and has attended our school since kindergarten. Jake serves as an elected member of the student council and has been on the varsity soccer team for two years and is a member of the Round Square program. He has recently arrived back from a trip to Atlanta to participate in the Model UN Mock Debate and from a Round Square International Conference in South Africa. He's an avid sports fan and is interested in enrolling in the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program at St. Andrew's School in the fall of 2013. His mother, Ellen, who is here with us this morning, that is after that his mom, she's right here, she's here with us this morning, has taught at St. Andrew's School since the lower school opened in 2000. It is my great pleasure, and please join me in welcoming Jake Gutzik. My name is Jake Gottsing, and on September 22, 2012, I departed from the United States of America with five other students and three chaperones from St. Andrews School. After a 15 and a half hour flight, we landed in Cape Town, South Africa. We spent three nights in Cape Town, touring everywhere from Table Mountain to the Robin Island Prison where Nelson Mandela was held captive for 17 years. After spending time in Cape Town, we joined arms with students from over 80 schools and six continents to embark on an experiential conference and the journey of a lifetime. The conference was held at Penryn College and was themed no existence without coexistence. I spent five nights and we were 20 students from over 14 countries. There were many life-changing parts of my trip, but I just want to highlight a few. Visiting the impoverished areas of rural South Africa our team of students did art projects, played games, and familiarized ourselves with school kids at an underprivileged school. When we walked into their classrooms, many of these students had never seen a white person before and believed only the stereotypes they had heard from their families. They thought it was fascinating that our skin was a different color. They were touching our skin as if it was different than theirs. This was a new realm for us because we had never written we had never been able to interact with this, side of the, with this side of the world. Their playground was also unlike anything I had seen before. It was desolate, sandy, and hot. When we took out the athletic balls for them to use, they were amazed we were just giving this new sports equipment to them. An ordinary rugby ball to us is equivalent to a pot of gold for them. Another memorable part of my trip was interacting with students from all over the world. My bunkmate Anirud shared his homemade food he had traveled with from India. The kids from Germany came with, their, came with candy from their native country as well. The culture I was most immersed in was the Afrikaans culture. Every day, we learned about the experiences of a well-known activist from the apartheid. These were the people that were most influential during a very challenging period in South African history. The entire trip was fantastic. I met people from all over the world that left me with so many memories. I still speak with many of these students daily in Thailand, Switzerland, England, South Korea, Canada, and more. These are the friendships that I will have forever. Now, it's time to turn the table and talk about how this conference and experience will be coming to us here in Boca Raton at St. Andrews School in October of 2013. From October 6th to the 12th, 2013, Round Square and a global network of independent schools and institutions will be catching waves of change. This is an opportunity to impact nearly 700 student leaders and up to 300 professional educators from six different continents, approximately 40 different countries, and nearly 100 leading worldwide schools over the course of one week. Our waves of change aims to compel the hearts and minds as well as enhance the actions and words of, of students and their adult allies during the week. Our guests and community will be hearing from inspirational speakers, taking part in empowering and adventurous activities, engaging in environmental initiatives, and making a difference through community service here in Palm Beach County. Student and adult delegates alike will be moved to employ new skills of entrepreneurialism and servant leadership upon departure from the United States to return to their countries. 
The Round Square organization offers tomorrow's leaders and global citizens the opportunity to network and develop relationships worldwide, be it business, science, social work, or political inclinations that ultimately capture the attention of college bound teens, who will be movers and shakers before we know it. If you influence corporate, nonprofit, higher education, and public policy professional realms, consider the waves of change you can set in motion for my peers and me. Join St. Andrew's School in our bold step to motivate and equip innovative young adults like myself to be the change we all can envision for the world. Delegates and donors can combine to create a surge of goodwill and action that will be shared worldwide. Round Square delegates will more than value the assistance and resources the community can provide through generous sponsorship and support. Consider the ways of change we can make together, and let's collaborate and inspire each other to mold the future today and not mend it tomorrow. Get ready to catch the wave this coming October. Thank you. sophomore, but I just want to let the universities know he's accepting early decision applications right now. <laughs>